I'm here with Stephen Keeney on the floor at NBAA 2008. We have a lovely aircraft behind us, the Honda Jet. Uh, I remember seeing this aircraft for the first time when it taxied into the Aeroshell Square at Oshkosh 2005. Here it is over three years later, and this plane still draws a crowd, Stephen. I have to say, you guys are doing something right. Well, wherever we go with the Honda Jet, we just have such a wonderful reaction from the public and from av aviation enthusiasts who are really intrigued by the overall design of the plane as well as the, the fact that we are offering a product that is going to be more fuel efficient, higher performance, greater comfort than anything they've seen in quite a while. So there's a lot of interest out there. Let's talk a little bit about that uh, leading edge technology. Um, obviously, one of the most distinctive features of the aircraft is the uh, upward pylon mounted uh, twin turbofans, something we haven't seen for a while outside of Russia. I'm interested in a, uh, a technical term here that Honda was one of the first, actually to my knowledge, the very first BizJet manufacturer, at least in this segment, to tout the concept of a laminar flow wing and fuselage. Now, since you've uh, brought that up, Others have, I wouldn't say co-opted it per se, but we're hearing it from a lot of other manufacturers now. Tell me and tell our viewers, what the heck is a laminar flow wing and fuselage? The unique thing about the Honda Jet is we've been able to introduce natural laminar flow not only to our leading edge, but to the nose as well. Basically, what we're doing is we're reducing drag over the wing and over the nose, which helps to increase performance. Uh, it aids in greater lift and also uh, fuel efficiency is increased due to the reduced drag and we've incorporated this technology as part of our effort with the over the wing engine mount to reduce the overall drag to a degree that's even less than a clean wing design which is a, maybe a little bit counterintuitive for some people but the placement of the engine over the wing plus the natural laminar flow have reduced the drag considerably on the plane. You know, you have to find what we call the sweet spot, the exact perfect location to mount the engine over the wing. But uh, we've been able to do so, and we, that's really happened through a number of wind tunnel tests at some of the world's most prestigious wind tunnels, including NASA, the Boeing transonic wind tunnel as well. This really is the culmination of about 20 years of research and endeavor to find the, the perfect design for this size of airplane. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single-engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its detailed design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at cirrusdesign.com. We're on schedule for certification in 2010 with first delivery in late 2010. This particular aircraft here has over 400 flight hours on it already and we're in the process of building the conforming models that will start flying next year for FAA certification. All of the Honda jets are going to be built in our brand new facility which includes our world headquarters, R&D facility and production plant in Greensboro, North Carolina. We've actually already completed the world headquarters and the R&D facility will be done in just a couple of months and right after that we're going to begin construction on the production facility so that we can get it up and running and start production, full production in 2010. Well, we have uh, received considerable interest in the Honda Jet, as you can imagine. We have a great backlog of orders. We're, we're hopeful that we can produce between about 80 and 100 units a year. But as you may know, Honda is a world leader in uh, flexible manufacturing. So we, we're planning the factory to be flexible in terms of being able to increase production should the demand uh, exist to do that. When the time comes to start flying production, uh, production level uh, prototypes for the flight test program. Are we going to see any significant changes between those production examples and the prototype aircraft behind us? I think uh, to most observers you really won't be able to see much difference in the exterior design of the aircraft and that's because we wanted to bring to the market uh, a product that was already ready to be certified. As you look at the plane here, you can tell that the fit and finish, the design details are really ready to go and uh, I think most people will be pleasantly surprised that there will be few changes between this aircraft and the one that they'll be able to fly themselves. 
It's currently $3.9 million, and that in, is a fully equipped aircraft. There really are no options. That includes a fully enclosed lavatory, executive seating, uh, seating for a total of seven passengers. It will be single uh, pilot certified, so you know an, a family uh, could take it on the weekend if, if the owner is a pilot. We have a lot of owner operators who are purchasing the Honda Jet, but there's also a lot of business interest in the Jet as well. Okay, we are cleared for our approach. Have our Garmin GPS set up to fly the LPV. And look, here comes the glide path. Now you're probably wondering how we can intercept a glide path when there's no ILS on the field. Well, hey, that's the beauty of WAS GPS. No ILS, no localizer, no problem. WAS gives us full vertical guidance even without ground-based navigation. Okay, next you're probably wondering why there's spit all over your side of the windshield. <laughs> Stephen, tell me a little bit about the engines that you've selected for the Honda Jet. Well, it really wouldn't be a Honda if it weren't powered by Honda. And the turbofan jet engine that will be equipped on the Honda Jet was designed and developed by Honda. It's being commercialized in partnership with General Electric. It's, it's very compact, very fuel efficient. It helps uh, power the Honda Jet to 420 knots, which is the fastest jet in its class. But it's also highly fuel efficient, about 15 to 20 percent more fuel efficient overall than a similarly sized jet. Well, and if you're looking for a partner for aircraft engines, you could do worse than the supplier to Boeing and Airbus commercial airliners, one would imagine. Uh, what is the target for certification for the uh, joint effort engine on the Honda Jet right now? Uh, certification will coincide with certification for the, the aircraft as well. Uh, we'll start flying with the HF-120, which will be the production engine, next year with our conforming models. And we'll, we'll have everything certified and ready to deliver in 2010. Uh, we'll be using about uh, 1,928 pounds of thrust on each of the two engines. And uh, we haven't released the fuel burn figures yet, but we anticipate we're going to be highly fuel efficient, about 15 to 20 percent more than a similarly sized jet overall. Customers nowadays are very concerned about a number of different components or factors when they're looking at their plane. It's no, more, no longer is it just speed or range. They're looking at speed, range. They're looking at fuel efficiency. They're looking at inter interior comfort, cargo capacity. They're looking for standard equipment and the like. With the Honda Jet, we've uh, really created a product that's the fastest in its class. It is the roomiest, it has the largest cargo capacity, most fuel efficient, and it comes standard the standard equipment level is exceptionally high. There really are no options on the Honda Jet, much like with any of our other products. It will also embody Honda's, uh, well, famous commitment to uh, quality and excellence in engineering, and that's what's really attracting a lot of people. They understand that, you know, we're going to bring to market the best product possible. Well, Stephen, you have a very beautiful aircraft here, and I'm looking forward to seeing these on the ramp and in the sky in the near future. Thank you for your time. Thank you. This is Rob Finfrock, Managing Editor of the Aero News Network for Aero TV, on the floor at NBAA 2008.